Hello my YouTube friends, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit where I'm going to teach you on how you can import a detailed family like this one. This is a bed from SketchUp up to Revit. Now you may agree with me that most of the families in Revit are not as detailed as this one. So you do well to utilize some of the families or some of the, you know, the furniture in SketchUp and use them in Revit as you can see from here. If I just go to the plan view, you see that this is the family. And I know once you render them, you use them in your 3D views and also animations, it will look very, very realistic and also it will look good. So let me also show you the same furniture. If I just go to SketchUp, you see that this is what we have. And this is what we are, this is what we are going to export to Revit. So I'll go back to Revit and this is what we have. Now I just want to ask all of you if you like what I'm doing please don't just watch my video subscribe to my channel to motivate me to do more and more tutorials and comment there tell me what you want to learn and also don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Without wasting time let's get started in this lesson. So what I'm going to do first of all is to just close this one here because I want you to see on how to do it. I'll just click on no. All right, then I'll go to SketchUp. This is the bed that we want to, you know, to export to Revit. And what you need to do is to install. Yeah, so let me tell you on how to, what to install. You are going to install what we call the Speco Manager, Manager for Speco. And this is simple to do. All you need to do is to just click on download. Once you download, you are going to install the Speco Manager. Okay, as you can see, it will look something like this one, but make sure that you create your account. So this is a very small file. Just click on it, download it, and you can see this is speco.systems. This is where you download it from. Once you download and install, and you either go to Revit or, you know, or to Revit, or even before going to Revit, once you just click down there on the windows, you see that you have the manager for Speco here. Okay, before you even open any software. So make sure that you click on it and this is what to open. From here, you see that I have installed two connectors. This is what we call connectors. They have, they, there is Revit connector and SketchUp connector. And you can see that we have all these connectors that you can use to, you know, to exchange, you know, 3D model from one software to the other. So just click on the preferred software that you are using down just click on install there actually i don't even need to download just click on it to install and you to appear under the you know installed you know connectors so this is what i did to to to, to install the two as you can see from here so i'll simply close it and once you do it once you go to you know to to sketch up you just need to go to extensions and sometimes depending on the version of SketchUp that you are using, it may appear in a different place. So for this one, for 2023, it will just appear there under Speco and click on Initialize. And this is what you are going to have. Now, let me also go to Revit and show you the same thing. In Revit, again, I'll just open, you know, the project by clicking on New, click on Browse. Let me just go back and pick the template that I want to use. I'll go to English and I want to just use a default default metric template and click on open and click on open. All right. So even here within Revit, we are going to have that connector because we installed, you know, the connector for Revit and you see that Speco is right here. If I just click on Revit connector, you see that this is what I have. Now, you may not see anything if you haven't connected or exported anything, you haven't received anything or sent anything. You're not going to see all these options that we have here. These are my projects or my families that I was trying to, you know, to move from one software to the other. So I'll start by going to back to SketchUp and I'll close this one. I was just showing you these connectors, how they appear. So you can even see that just ignore this one. This is what I was trying to export. So I would simply close this one. Now, once you have your family or any furniture that you have, you have to just make sure that you create a, a component. So you can see that this is a SketchUp component, everything in one component. And you can see that I have defined it as bed DS. Now to differentiate, I'll just change this one to bed maybe something like this all right this is my name uh, 
the abbreviation for my name. So I'll call it bed sinks, something like that. And simply enter from my keyboard. I think if I just, uh, yeah, I think it's already saved. If I just click on it answer once again and click on that, you see we have it here. So this is a component and we have it here. So once you do that, now you just have to go to extensions, speckle, and make sure that you click on initialize speckle. You see that this is what we have. Now here we have streams and the mapper. You first of all have to go to the mapper here. And what I'll do here, I'll select, you know, this component. And you see that once you pick on it, we are going to have so many other options here. You need to do that. If you don't select, you're not going to see them. So select there. And you see that we have component and also definition. I'm going to use the definition there. And once I select on it, the name I think is supposed to be entered here. Make sure that you enter that name manually here. So I'll call it bed sinks something like that then you need to make sure that you check here and we are using direct shape and the category this is these are the categories which are going to appear in revit is it puncher is it you know cable is it conduit so maybe for this one i'll just call it furniture and of course it's furniture i'll just click there select it so it's bed sinks furniture direct shape and it's under definition then i'll see if you want you can even pick component but i'll use this one these other options I'll leave them the way they are and simply click on apply. And if I just drag it here, it will tell you that mapping applied. And that is the name and the furniture category. And that is the direct shape. Then you need to go back to, to the streams here. This is where now you create a stream. So what you are seeing here, all these are streams. So I'll just create a new stream by clicking there and I'll give it the same name. I'll call it bed sinks the same name you can use a different name if you want and simply click on create all right so now we have bed sinks it's right here now right here we see that we have some several options we have the view online we have the send and also we have receive now you need to click on send so that this model can be within the speckle there you are going to see what is going to happen so that you can view it online and from there revit can pick it up or any other software any other 3d software exporting it can also you know pick it up from the you know online there so i'll just go to this one and click on send and you need a bit of time just for this to be to be converted and also to be sent so let's wait for it So as you can see from here, it has been sent. You see that, okay, everything has been sent as you can see from here. All right, so what you need to do now is to simply click on view online so that we can see it online by just clicking there. Let's see what we have. This is now uh, speckle.xyz. This is where we are going to view this one. Now, once you click on that, just need to see you to check here you see that we have bed sinks and you can see this is the one that we created right let me just double click there and double click on this one here and we see that the bed is right here and we can orbit it and view it as we wish you see it looks neat and clean and it's very light now from this manager, Speckle Manager, this is where now you are able to export this to any other software. So it's not just Revit within here. As long as you have the connectors installed for that particular software, you are able to, you know, to view or to import in that particular software. In this case, we are using Revit. So this is done here. And what I need to go, what, what I need to do now is to go to Revit. Let me just open Revit and simply close this one. Let me go back to Revit once again. And as I showed you, just need to go to Speckle and click on Revit connector. Now here, once again, we have create new stream if you are exporting this to a different software. But this time we want to import that, you know, that stream that we already created, which is, uh, I named it as bed sinks. So I'll click on add from here. First of all, let me cancel because you need to add the URL. So let me cancel here. But it will pick the URL automatically if you have this one already open. Let me just click there and click share this stream or commit. So I can simply click there and you see that it will show 
the URL has been copied you know, automatically. So if I just go back to Revit and click on that one there, that URL will be added here automatically once again. Then I'll click on add and you see that we have it here. As you can see from here, it has even loaded now. Now from here we have so many options here. We have bed syncs, that is the one that we want to receive. Okay, so since you want to receive, just click there. And then we also have receive options. I can click on edit and also click on edit advanced. Then from here, I'll just pick this option on maybe or never because I want, you know, the, the elements to be like native uh, Revit elements. So if you want your object to appear as native Revit elements, just make sure that you pick or never. So I've picked that option and I'll leave the other settings as they are. Then I'll click on save. Right. Once I save, all I need to do is to click on receive and you see that we are going to receive the bed right here within Revit. So I'll go down, but once it loads there, we are going to see the actual bed later on. But let me just click or click on receive there. And we just need to give it a bit of time. It doesn't take a lot of time. We are going to see the bed being loaded here. So as it is loading, uh, this approach is quite important. As I mentioned, you know, we have so many high quality furniture components, even model, models in, in, in SketchUp. So using this method, you're able to receive them in Revit. So we have received it here and I'll simply close it here. All right, let me go back to Revit. And if I zoom in here, you see that we have that bed. And in plan, you see that it looks neat and it looks okay. You can use this one within your projects. And if I just go to the 3D view, see that we have it here. Let me just change this one to shaded. And you can see that this is our bed straight from, you know, from uh, SketchUp to Revit. Let me just put the center there and orbit it. You can see that. We have the bed right here. So this is the method that you can use to import anything from SketchUp up to Revit. See you in some upcoming lessons.